scenes and backstage with the big winner, and what a fight it was. Tom Shove, amazing. We gotta talk about this fight. Break it down for me, sir. Um, it was a tough one. You know, I went out there and tried to play the range game in the first and uh, didn't really work out to my advantage. Uh, so I decided to get inside in the second. That worked out a little better. And uh, they're telling me it finished in the third. So I, 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 I must have put hands on him in the third, and that's that's how that played out. Um, you know, it was just it was just a tough fight, and that's that's really all I can I can expect anymore. You know, being in the the, the higher portion of the division, everything's going to be tough, and that's what we trained for. It looked like though in those later rounds that he was coming in to play your game. Let's talk about that because we know what that means, but the fans need to understand that. Yeah, you know, I think that uh, I think most people have a belief that in this sport you're going to take a couple of shots and you're going to quit. Uh, and I don't do that. You know, I'll, I'll take shots and I'll continue to take shots and I'll let you continue to come inside because of it. I want to hit you. That's what I want to do. Um, and Bruce did that. He was beating me on the outside and he decided to come inside and play my game and he lost. You know, that's 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 the way that it went. So. Preparation wise, did you do anything differently to prepare for him for this fight since you are a BKFC vet? Um. I think the biggest thing, honestly, was we had seven months between this fight and the last fight. So I had a lot of time to prepare. It wasn't that we were doing anything differently or doing, really taking our camp in any different direction. Um, we just, uh, we, we, we had a lot of time to get ready and we had a lot of time to prepare. And I think I got my contract roughly four or five weeks out. So I knew who I was fighting. I knew what was coming up. And we were just, you know, we, like I said, we had a lot of time to prepare. Nothing new though. Nothing new, but as a BKFC vet, what do you love most about this sport? Well, that's tough. Um, if I had to put my finger on it, I would say that it's it's a knockdown, drag out type of grueling stand up fight that you want to see in MMA, but gets interrupted with the takedowns. We don't have that here, so you just got two guys standing in front of each other, trying to slug it out. You know. Um, Hopefully I'll be smarter on the next time around, but th I think that's what people love about it. Speaking of two guys slugging it out, who do you want next? Uh, Mr. Mendez, maybe? Well, Mr. Mendez is ranked number one right now, so if they want to throw him to the wolves and let me eat him up, let's do it. But I'd much prefer to have the belt. I mean, I honestly feel like I'm the best person in this division. And uh, if I got to beat up Mendez to prove it, cool. If I got to go straight to Palomino, cool. Um, if they want to give me somebody else before that, I'd probably be a little a little hurt about it. You know, I'm 3-0 at 155, and I've got three finishes, so there's no reason why I shouldn't be in there in, in title talks. So, yeah, give me that belt. Give me Mendez. Give me somebody who's going to stamp my place in history. And we've talked about this before, but it's important for the fans to understand that making that change, that weight class change, did get you to the point where you were 3-0. Mm -hmm. It's such an important factor in the game, is it not? 100%. You know, you can't go into any... You can't go into any competition, uh, any combative sport fighting outside of your weight class. And I thought that this was different than the the, pre the ones previously, and uh, it wasn't, you know. And now that I've made my way down to 155 and I'm where I'm supposed to be, the, 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 the results speak for themselves. They sure do. I understand today is a very special day for you, so should we talk about that? I mean, yeah, we can. Um, a couple of weeks ago, my, uh, my uncle Mikey died, and then... Uh, on the 23rd, in two days, will be the two-year anniversary of uh, my brother's death, my oldest brother. So this was a very, was a very important win for my family, and I'm, I'm glad I was able to get it. And I'm sure he's looking down at you from heaven going, that's my brother, and I am so darn proud. Before we go tonight, Tom, is there anything else you'd like to add, sir? Just let me know when the next one is. All right, for Bare Knuckle News, you heard it here first. He wants a title shot. I'm Susan Singari, and this is... The Gentleman of Violence, Tom Shove. And guess what? No one, right? No one beats us to the no. punch.